This is Code.org, and here we are on our Museum Ticket Generator app. What I want to make sure to take a look at today is actually the activity guide for this application. This app is somewhat confusing, and these activity guides can really help make sense of what's going on. So, let's see. Try the app. Try making tickets for different combinations of inputs. Make a ticket for the weekend. Make a ticket for the weekday. All right. Oh, it also has instructions here. So, run, Monday, 5. Okay, well, boom. All right, that's a weekday. What if I change the age? 16? No, let's go, I don't know, 39. Oh, notice the price went up. Make a ticket for a weekday, Monday through Friday, and someone 18 or younger. Weekday. Oh, I need weekend as well. That's a weekend. Got it. $10 on the weekend. What if you're really young, though? Same price. Okay, weekday. Okay, this is the one on the weekday, it looks like. Yep, it goes to up to $10 if you're old, but if you're five, or I guess if you're a kid, it's five. 18 and younger, I bet. Okay, try the discount code free Friday, free Friday, and click. Oh, of course. What if I change this, though, to Friday? Ooh, okay. So what variables would you need to program this app? Well, for variables, you want to think about two things, input and output. What input, what can the user change, add, edit? Notice I can change the day, the age, and this, and I can hit create. So there must be some way that the program can grab this data, take a look at it, and make a decision what to output onto the screen. So it's most likely saved somewhere. So that's what I would think of first, is where can the user edit and input data for variables, that's what it would come to mind first. Where does this app use conditional statements or if statements? Hmm. Well, any time an if statement would be used, we're asking a question. So notice, for instance, on Friday, how does it know that this is zero dollars? What does it take into consideration? Well, somewhere it must be thinking, wait, if discount code's free Friday, I need to put zero. What about age, right? When we don't have free Friday or when it's Tuesday, on Tuesday, boom. Oh, how is it realizing that an age of 10 is going to be $5, but 22 is $10? So is it asking a question if age is someone 18 or younger? And I would think about the same with day. So a variable. Um, let's pick one of these. I will say since day's first, I'm going to assume that day's a variable because how else is it analyzing and considering what's going on there? So what does it store? It stores a string. String is a fancy way to say word, right? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It stores a string that represents the day the user selected, I guess. Now, keep in mind, when you're thinking of variables, I really would consider what the user can input for these other items. Okay. On weekdays, everyone pays full price, $10. On week, oh, weekends. On weekdays, if you are 18 or younger, you pay five. Okay. If you use the discount code free Friday on Friday, you get in for zero. No other discount cards will work and the code only works on Friday. Interesting. Oh, this is nice. So we have this nice chart. All right. Let's see what they're talking about. Oh, perfect. Now we're actually going to get started on making this application. Really do keep this in mind. The free Friday stuff is tricky. And notice how when the age is 18 on Monday, right, or younger, so 18 or younger, so you would probably in an if want to do uh, less than 19 because it's 18 or younger or less than or equal to 18. That should have been equals. Anyways, that it's ten five dollars But for youth, even on a Saturday, it's 10 Everyone's 10 on the weekend. It looks like under 18 is 5 on weekdays. And then there's this free Friday deal if they get the code right on Friday. Huh. Free doesn't work. Huh. Pretty cool. Okay. I'm excited to, yeah, let's get started making this app.